Hey guys, it's Sarah with Collabs with Sarah. We're here for episode two, finding an agent. Let's talk about how you go, how you start the process really. Um, the first thing I would do is ask your friends, ask your family who they've used and who they've really enjoyed working with. Um, that's the best way for any recommendation is to go with, you know, who do you trust? Whose opinion do you trust and value? Um, and who have they worked with in the past. So that's the really the first point I would go with because word of mouth is the best marketing tool for any good real estate agent. Um, when And when we get a referral as agents, um, it makes us feel really good because we know we've been doing a good job for our past clients as well. So speaking with friends and family is the first step. Two, you know, if you are moving to a new area and you don't know any agents in that area, reach out to an agent you know in your area and see if they know anyone where you're moving or if they can help you find someone where you're going. So for example, if you lived near me but you were moving out of state and you were really curious about a, a great agent where you're moving, say, hey Sarah, you know, this is what I'm looking for, this is the area I'm interested in, can you help me find an agent? And even if I don't know anybody per se in that area, um, you know, we have a network of connections, I can find an agent for you, I can interview them if you'd like, any agent should be able to do this for you. Um, and help you like narrow it down at least to their top three agents and then you can have a conversation with them as well just to make sure that you guys click personality wise. Um, so that's number two is, is work with an agent locally to try to find someone wherever you're moving. Um, number three, if there's just no resources for you, you don't know an agent, no one, maybe you're a first time home buyer, none of your friends or family have bought in a while, they don't know an agent in the area, um, I would check out Google reviews, um, I would check out Facebook, I would go online and see who's really active on social media, um, and then interview them. Make sure you're interviewing those agents, even if it's only two, um, two or three, just make sure you're asking questions um, like what their schedule like schedule is like, what their communication style is, um, have them sit down with you for a buyer consult and have them explain the process, see if they're knowledgeable um, about the process. And you can do your own research too and see how their answers kind of stack up against what you found online. Um, some top questions I would ask is, um, you know, are you an individual agent? Are you on a team? Those are two different choices. For example, I'm on a team. Um, I'm a buyer's agent specifically, so I only work with buyers. Um, but some people are individual agents. When I started, I was an individual agent, so I did the selling side and the buying side. Um, both are great. It just kind of depends on your style and what you like. Um, a perk of being on a team is, you know, say I'm out of town and I'm your agent. Um, there are three other agents on my team that can take you out and answer phone calls and be there for you no matter what. So there is that support, there's that backup. Um, as a team, I, we also have a full admin staff. We have um, a transaction coordinator who takes you from the under contract to, to the closing date. We have a marketing coordinator that handles all of our client events and our VIP group. Um, and we have a listing manager who, if you're selling your home with us, handles the listing side and scheduling your showings and getting your professional photos done and all that kind of stuff. So we do have a system in place um, where we can execute a high level of customer service. Um, an individual agent still may have an assistant, still may have all of those things. They may have a great reputation in the community. It's all about how you click with them and just setting those expectations. Like if they are gonna be out of town, do they have somebody who can show you a house on a Saturday? Um, and things like that. And if the market's going really quick, you definitely want that. Um, but that's neither here nor there. That's um, just giving you an, an example of what a team versus an individual listing agent or buyer's agent can do for you. Um, you know, I would also see, do they have a network of vendors in the area? So say you go under contract and you really need a contractor or a plumber or an electrician. Is this real estate agent going to be someone you can reach out to after you've done the transaction um, for help with recommendations on vendors and contractors? And um, do they know what country clubs there are to join in the area? Do they have good restaurant recommendations? You want your real estate agent to be a concierge for the city that you're moving to. You really want them to be knowledgeable about the market throughout the transaction process, but you would like them to be a good resource for you no matter what. What events are happening this weekend? What's going on? Um, and if somebody's really plugged in, they're gonna have a great overall experience for you as, uh, as far as the real estate transaction. If they have those vendors in place, um, 
for example, we have a list of preferred vendors that we've worked with in the past that we know are, are have great customer service, um, they do a great job, and they have great communication. So those are the three things that we look for. Um, and as long as we have those, those contacts in place, um, your transaction is going to be much smoother because say we get to the inspection um, and you are new to the area, you don't know any inspectors, well I have three that I can give you and you can shop around their prices, talk to them on the phone, see how they click, see if you like um, their systems and processes, um, we'll have those recommendations for you. You absolutely don't have to use them but it's great resource for us to kind of share that with you. Say the inspection comes back and you need to have the roof looked at a little bit closer. Well, we have roofing contractors we can send you. Um, so those are just things you wanna look at when you're finding an agent. Ask these questions up front and it'll be a much smoother process throughout the whole transaction. If you guys have any questions as far as um, real estate agents and the different options and kind of um, what to look for, please feel free to email me, uh, sarahpike at kw.com. Or you can give us a call. My number is 678-854-0955. Um, if you are looking for an agent and you're not in the Georgia area, but you kind of know what area you're looking for, you can still give me a call. I could, would be happy to interview agents for you and give you a couple of names to take a look at. Um, any real estate agent should be able to access um, a system that kind of shows how much an agent has sold in the past year so you can know like what their volume is and how much business they're doing um, that's a good indicator of a good agent as well so if that's something you guys would be interested in you can leave a comment below I'd be happy to reach out through YouTube or feel free to email me or give me a call um, and I can really help you with that process. Even if you're not in the Noonan Coweta County area, that's no problem. Um, I work with Keller Williams, which is a huge brokerage and we have networks actually internationally. So um, a Keller Williams agent is a great resource, whether it's me or not. Um, and really just make sure that they're really plugged into the community. You want a good network of vendors. You want them to have a high quality of customer service. You want an action plan for when they are out of town because we do, we are people. <laughs> we would like to take vacations now and again, but you'll just wanna make sure there are systems in place for that. Um, and a good real estate agent will have those systems. So hopefully that helps you guys. Episode two, picking an agent. Um, if you have any questions, again, just let me know. Always here to help. Thanks guys, bye.